everybody, teacher Sarah here and before we get started, I just want to apologize because for some reason when I recorded this video, it, um, when I played it back on my phone, it worked fine, um, the audio and everything, but whenever I try to upload it to YouTube or upload it on my computer, it's not uploading the audio for some reason. So I am going to do a voiceover, so if things don't match up perfectly, um, this is why. But um, at this point, I hope you would have DingTalk installed on your phone. You can get that in the App Store. Um, of course, you need to go ahead and sign up for DingTalk, and there's help if you need it in the Facebook groups. But um, once you get DingTalk downloaded, you'll open it up. And this is going to be the default screen on which you will be um, taken to when you open the DingTalk app. And what it is, is it defaults to the messages, as you can see on the bottom left corner of your screen, um, the messages icon is highlighted, and that is going to be where all of your messages that you've had uh, with the different departments of Magic Ears will live. Okay, and you can also see that there is Ding. There's a Ding icon, it's the second from the left at the bottom, and it defaults to a calendar when you click on it. But if you go to the top of your app screen, you will see um, in the middle between calendar and tasks, there's a ding, and that's gonna be where all of those messages that Magic Ear sets out, um, they call them dings, where they get sent out, um, that's where they're gonna live. So don't feel like if you have missed um, a message somehow, or maybe you saw it, but you didn't, you weren't able to read all of it, or you clicked and it disappeared, um, you can go here, you click on that ding icon at the bottom of the app, and then go to ding, and they will all be there. Unless you delete them yourself, um, they will all be there for you to look at later. All right, and of course, uh, work would be magic ears. You're not going to be using any of this. Contacts, that's going to be where you see um, the Magic Heroes organization once they add you on Ding Talk. And like you've heard mentioned before, you cannot add them. They must add you. So you need to send your uh, sign up information to them via email so they can get you added. They'll want your phone number that you use to sign up for Ding Talk, and then they will want your email address that you signed up for Ding Talk with. But they'll get you added but you can click on that My Organization under Magic Ears and you'll see several different contacts here that you can use um, for different reasons. You'll see standby support, cancellation, tech support, class support. There are four teacher development contacts and then there's two ME recruiters. Um, most teachers are mainly gonna be focused on that standby support, cancellation, tech support, and class support. So of course, standby support would be what you would want to use if you were going to be doing a standby class. You can click that I am here button in the platform and then just um, send a quick message to standby support on Ding that you're waiting. Um, for whatever time you signed up for cancellation, if you have illness or emergency and you need them to transfer your classes, tech support self-explanatory and class support also self-explanatory. So you click on it, it's going to pull up this little contact sheet and at, you can see at the bottom there's a message, ding talk call, ding in secret chat. And those are all the options you have to contact them. You would want to click on message, which is the bottom left hand icon in your app there and that will automatically pull up a message like a little chat you know kind of window box for you and I already had uh, messages with them but you can see that you can type whatever you want to send to them There's also another way that you can find your uh, contacts without going to the contacts page and that is using the search bar at the top of the screen. You can type in anything that you want, any word. So like if you need to talk to tech support, you could um, type in tech. Well, as you can see, I'm having issues typing, obviously. <laughs> um, but you type in tech and it's going to pop up uh, tech support. And again, that takes you to that little chat window. So um, if you had a problem in class, like for example, they contacted me because in one of my classes yesterday, my camera froze for a moment. And I was able to just restart the classroom and everything was working fine, but they reached out because they noticed that there was an issue. Um, so you can have a conversation with them. And then like, if you have questions about if your computer's having problems, things like that, you could contact them, talk, contact them like that. 
But basically, that is it for Ding Talk. Um, it seems overwhelming at first, but it's actually really easy once you get the hang of it. See you around, guys.